Now, before you can get unlimited access to your value add on membership site, you'll need to configure a payment method to do things like create payment plans, to create free sign up plans, to get the ability to customize your sales page, and much, much more. You'll need to enable at least one payment processor before those uh, options get unlocked within your control panel. So, to do this, log into your site owner control panel, click on the payment options tab. And on this page, it will allow you to enable one of our supported payment processors. Now, the first payment processor that we offer is a free merchant account that is provided by Stripe.com. Stripe.com provides a free merchant account where you'll get automatically accepted into the program within seconds. Standard merchant rates apply. There is no limits. There is no monthly fees. There is no per credit card uh, type fees. And it's a great, wonderful company to work with. If you want to learn more about them, click on the blue link to get an extended information about this company. Once you enable Stripe, you'll be able to do things like create free membership plans, create paid plans. You'll be able to uh, have a built-in shopping cart that works directly with this platform where you can uh, manage users, uh, create coupons, and much, much more. It takes a few seconds to set up, you're automatically approved, and your shopping cart tools and advanced options will become available instantly. The next payment processor that we also integrate with is somebody called jvzoo.com. jvzoo.com is a great payment processor. They utilize PayPal and or Authorize.net to process payments. And they also allow you to do something different, which is to manage and run your own affiliate program. Now, you can enable one or the other. You can also enable both payment methods at the same time, which is highly recommended. Now, one more thing you should note on this page, if you're an advanced user and you want to have membership levels and be able to sell customers into certain uh, content areas and to, into certain courses and to give them access depending on how much they pay, you want to click this box down below that says show advanced options. When you check this box after enabling one of the payment processors, this will allow you to create different membership levels so people can sign up and only get access to the certain content that you specify. If you don't need that option, go ahead and leave that box unchecked and continue through the process like normal. Now for this example, I'm going to leave that box unchecked and just give you a basic overview of how you can enable Stripe.com to take payments. To do this, click on the Click to Enable button next to Stripe. Once you click here, this is going to open up a merchant application form. If you currently have a Stripe.com account, maybe you used one for your other businesses or you signed up a long time ago for Stripe, go ahead and sign in right here and go through the process. If you don't know what Stripe is or maybe you've never heard of it or if you don't have an account, let's go ahead and fill out this form. So once again, this is a merchant application form. Don't worry, you're instantly approved. The process takes a few seconds. And what you got to do is you just got to fill in the blanks. So it's going to ask you information about what you're selling, what your average payment is, what type of business are you. It's going to ask you for some business information. It's going to ask you for your personal details. It needs this information so it can approve you for your merchant account so you can accept money with your membership site. Down below, it's going to ask you for your credit card statement details. Now, this is where you can put in the URL of your membership site. If you don't know what this is, Go back to the page we were just on in the Site Owner Control Panel. Click on the URLs tab and copy and paste that URL into here. Put in your business phone number if you have one and continue through the rest of the process. You will need to include your banking details because Stripe is a merchant account and it will need to know where it's going to send your money. Once they process your payments, they will take those payments and they'll deposit them into your bank account right away. Then at the very bottom, you'll need to create your Stripe account by giving the system an email address and a password. Go ahead and click Authorize Access, and that will connect Stripe to your membership platform so you can uh, get the benefits of having the built-in shopping cart and be able to charge members or be able to just create free plans for your membership users. Now, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to complete this form myself, and then I'll resume back when I'm finished. Okay, so I filled out the form. I'm instantly approved. Here's my success message up here. It says, we have successfully linked your Stripe account and enabled Stripe on your website. So now that we've enabled a payment processor, you'll see that we have new options that show up underneath the Payment Options tab. And if we click on this, this will take us to our Stripe shopping cart. This is where we can create payment plans, view the history of all of our orders, view active and canceled subscriptions. We can create coupon codes. 
We can integrate with email providers such as GetResponse, Aweber, and so on. And we can customize our guarantee policy uh, number of days here. So let's go ahead and create a payment plan. Click on the Plans tab under default Stripe.com settings and let's click Create New Plan. This will allow us to create a payment plan for our membership site. Not only a payment plan, we can also create free plans as well. So for this example, I'm going to do a one-time charge of $10. I'll call this one a $10 sample. So give it a name and then give it a description. then give it a price. So this is going to be a $10 one-time charge. Once you hit Create Plan, you're completely done. But let me go ahead and show you a few more plan types. Let's click Create a New Plan again. This time, let's do a monthly subscription of $20 a month. Give it a name again. Give it a description. And then go ahead and input your price. So the price is going to be $20 and it's going to charge the customer every 30 days. Okay, now let's go ahead and create another plan. This time, this is going to be a completely free plan. Let's do a free plan. Let's give it a name. Call this one Joshua's Free Plan. Sign up for free to gain access. Okay. So now what we've done is we've created a number of plans. We've created a $10 one-time charge, a $20 per month charge, and a free plan. Now that we have these plans available, we can use these plans to be featured on our sales page. We'll get into that in our sales page video. But let me just show you some other stuff you can do. Now that you have plans, you can also give out special private links to certain people if you want people to be able to sign up to certain plans. For example, let's say that I had a friend named Bob and I wanted to give Bob a free membership account to my site. Once I've created a free plan, I could click on this link right here that says Get Links and I could give him a special URL just to sign up for this plan. Now, this is a private link that no one has access to unless I give them access to it. Or maybe I wanted to give my friend Sally a link to my $20 per month plan. All I had to do is click this link copy this URL and send it to her any way that I wish. Um, also, when you're creating and editing your default sales page, you'll be able to choose one of your plans as your uh, plan option when people sign up for your membership site, which once again we'll get into later when I show you and walk you through how to set up and configure your built-in sales page options. Now, if you ever want to deactivate a plan and disable anyone from signing up, even if they had the link already, all you have to do is press the deactivate button. This will deactivate that plan so if someone tries to sign up, it won't work, it won't allow them to register for that plan. If you wanted to reactivate it, you click on the activate plan. Now, if for some reason you don't see your deactivated plans, just click on this filter here that says show deactivated plans, and it will show you a list of all your deactivated plans. And then if you wanted to show your current plans, click on the filter button again to see a list of all your active plans. So here's how the system works. It's very simple. You can create new plans um, you know, as fast as I just did. Some of the other options are trial plans. So let's say you wanted to do a monthly subscription with a trial. Give it a name, a description, and then give it a trial period in days. So this is really great if you want to do like a seven day trial. We'll just choose seven days and then you can give it a price of $10 per month. So what would happen in this case is the user would sign up for free, they'd put in their credit card uh, information, however they wouldn't get charged until seven days goes by. On the seventh day, they would get charged the $10 and they would put in into um, your billing cycle to be charged $10 every month. So these are some of the other options you have for your plan types. It's as easy as that. And uh, that's how simple it is to create plans. Now that you've created plans, you can hand out the links to people, or you can now use these plans to be featured on your sales page, which you'll learn about later.